Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I wanted to look at how we can do some compositing in DaVinci Resolve using the alpha output. And the specific example that I want to give you is how to remove a green screen. Now obviously there's other effects programs such as After Effects that might be better suited for doing green screen work, but I can see some instances where it might be beneficial to remove a green screen directly in DaVinci Resolve without having to go into another program. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. What we're looking at now is a clip that I've already done the primary color correction on. And what we need to do is remove the green screen background. Now I've selected a clip that doesn't have a perfect green screen and that also has some external areas that we're going to need to mat out that fall outside of the green screen just to show you how we would do that if you end up with a clip that looks like this. So the first thing I need to do is add a new serial node. And I'm going to use this serial node with the qualifier to remove my green background. So the first thing I'm going to do is select a color range with the color picker. And when I do that, you'll notice it doesn't seem like a lot happened. And that's because I need to turn on this highlight visualizer so I can see what I've selected. You'll notice that my screen removal is inverted, so I just need to invert the selection range. And now you'll see that my green screen removal is starting to take shape. Now, using a color picker isn't going to exactly get rid of everything, especially in this example where there were some differences in exposure on the screen. So what I'm going to do to get rid of this extra green is use my blur and shrink controls along my hue, saturation, and luminance controls to adjust the area that I have selected. First, I'm just going to add a little blur. Then I'm going to adjust my luminance. And that's looking pretty good. But if we sort of look closer, we'll notice around the edge, there's still some green. And to get rid of that, I'm just going to shrink the radius a little bit. And there we have a pretty good key. The next thing we need to do is remove the area of the image that was not part of the green screen. And to do that, I'm going to use a power window. So I just need to click here to add a new power window. And then I just need to resize the power window And that looks pretty good. Now if we go back, you can see that we did a pretty good job of removing the background. The next thing I need to do is go back into my qualifier and I need to turn off my selection range highlight. And then I need to add in an alpha output. And when I select that, it will add the alpha output bar here. And then I just need to connect my node to my alpha output. And now you can see that my initial image has been composited onto my background. Now, I set this up beforehand, so let's take a look at the conform panels just so you can see what's going on here. I basically just have a timeline with two tracks. The video two track is my foreground clip, and the video one track is my background clip. Now, the intention of the shot was to have the foreground clip framed to the left. So to adjust that, I'm going to go back into the color panel, and I'm going to add a new serial node. And then I'm going to go into the sizing options. And I'm just going to adjust my pan here. Pull my clip to the left. And if I scrub through my clip, you can see that I've done a pretty good quick green screen within DaVinci Resolve. Now, of course, this isn't going to work for all applications, but if you do need to do some quick compositing in DaVinci Resolve or green screen removal without going into an external program, now you know how to do it.